Hello, in this Steam Deck and EMU Deck video, I'm going to show you how to set up the XEMU emulator, which is just that one there, and that is for playing the original Xbox. So, it's pretty simple to do, to, for, to be fair, it, and it works, you know, pretty well as well. Recommend that you check out the compatibility list for more information, you know, in terms of if you're getting compatible, I will provide a link in the description, feel free to check that out. Just want to say, this video is for educational purposes only, it is not condoning piracy. First of all, we need to install EMU Deck. To do that, we need to go into desktop mode, so click the Steam button, go to power, switch to desktop. So I'm going to guide you through the whole process. It's actually not too difficult to be fair. And now what we're going to do, and I'll recommend waiting a few seconds before you start to try and control the mouse just because it, it might not work straight away. Um, okay, if you have an external keyboard and mouse, even better. If not, you can either use the touch screen to navigate you for the mouse, or you can use the right trackpad. And if you click the right trackpad in, it clicks. If you press R2, you know, the right bumper, it's a left click. And if you press the left bumper, it's a right click. That's pretty much all you need to know in terms of you know input for desktop mode now open up firefox then appear there you can just go here go to all applications scroll down and it will appear there so next what you want to do and we'll get rid of all this you want to go to emudeck.com if you sir, try and type something you you won't get a keyboard you need to press steam and then the x button press steam and x after a second or two the keyboard pops up if it does or if you have any issues I recommend that you just turn you know you go to gaming mode and then go back to desktop mode and if that don't work just restart the Steam Deck it can be eh, you know sometimes buggy for the most part it's fine but sometimes it can be if you you know in it long enough and it's just emudeck.com emu again I've already you know opened it before so I'm just gonna use that and now go to download click download installer you're saying you need to copy to your desktop that's fine we'll handle all of that so if we close it now go to your downloads folder and I'm going right here so if you right click using L2 press copy go to desktop right click and you just paste one file I already have it right there so I'm not gonna you know redo it and if I go to downloads you will also need some extra files like the BIOS files, the hard drive files for Xbox. They're not hard to get hold of if you literally just Google these files like Xbox BIOS download for XEMU, you know, debug BIOS for XEMU, HDD, you know, file for XEMU. You'll get it in Google, but for legal purposes, I cannot provide it. But if you do have any questions about any part of this video, you need any help, feel free to post on our Discord group, link in the description. So now that we've got EMU Deck here, just open it up. Again, obviously you can just do from the desktop here as well. For me, it's going to go through the process as if it's, you know, updating and it seemed to have found an update. But for you, it'll be a new installation. Okie dokie. So, okay, do, 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 do. again, you won't, you know, see any of this. What to save, what to load, decky control, da, da, da. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to go back to home. And now I've got custom update or quick update. You will have like custom install or quick install. Select custom, click next, and choose where you want to store your ROMs. This is also where you store your, you know, your BIOS files as well, like the hard drive files in the case of an you know the XEMU emulator but I'm gonna do SD card highly recommend that you do or you can do it internal storage click continue click you know select your console by default Steam Deck should be connected but if not selected then select Steam Deck now what you want to do is oh we got Melon DS now oh I'll create a video on that you want to deselect everything unless you want all the emulated and just select XEMU don't worry if you've already you know set up let me refocus if you've already set up emu deck and this is the next second time you're doing it or the third time and you're one worrying oh I, you know i set up dock station for playstation one games i've deselected it is this gonna you know uninstall dock station is this gonna 
you know, reset the configuration. No, it's just not going to touch it. So press and then for the again, update emulate configuration. You don't want to do anything except for XEMU. And now select your emulation station theme. I like Epic Noir, so I'm going to keep that. Click next. Install homebrew games. We don't need to worry ourselves with that. Here's what we'll do. We will install this. We will configure this. Basically, it's just going to mess around with XEMU. There's nothing else is going to really change. Finish. That's nice that it does you know, show you that now. Okay, so if you did happen to choose multiple emulators, it will take a fair bit of time. And if this is the first time you're doing it, again, it will take a fair bit of time. Um, but if not, then it's not very long at all. So it's installing the Steam ROM Manager, which we'll cover, you know, momentarily. And that's useful for, you know, just organizing, organizing some games, you know, covers, and there's a, just a couple of other settings that you need to set within the Steam ROM Manager to get the best experience. Now it's installing XEMU. That was quick, done. Now, let's, let me show you how to add games and where to do the BIOS files as well. So, before we deal with the Steam ROM Manager, let's go to like a Finder or Explorer and go to where it's installed. So, for me, it's an external drive and everything's in the emulation folder. And ROMs is where you'll put your games. You just go to near the bottom. Xbox, I've already got a Halo Combat Evolved ISO. Feel free to put all your other ISOs here and you put your two BIOS files, files here. It's the complex underscore 4627.bin and the mcpx underscore 1.0.bin. Again, I, you know, I've got them already in my downloads folder and I just copied them over. And uh, I'd already done this, you know, before. So, you know, like they're there, you know, just copy it over. You don't need the debug one. And then the Xbox one, you just need the MCPX. Okay, so you might be thinking, what about the Xbox underscore HDD file? You do need that, so make sure you copy that. However, you need to store that in a different location. You need to go to storage, XEMU, and store it here. The eeprom.bin is automatically created. And I find if sometimes it creates the HDD file anyway, I prefer to use the one that I have, but in case you have any issues, and but that's it that's where you put your bios that's where you put your games now go here go select steam rom manager click yes okay in steam rom manager we need to just configure like i said a couple of things now first of all next to parser select the toggle and turn it off now just turn on emulation station de and emulate it you might think that's already what was on if you did scroll all the way to the bottom, the Xbox emulator would have been turned on as well or anything else that you happen to install emulator was. And the problem with this is if you go down that route, all your you know emulator games for the emulators that you toggle will appear in your Steam Deck library. That might sound useful and cool, but imagine if you have a thousand Game Boy Advance games, a hundred, you know, PlayStation 1 games, and I say 50 Xbox games that's going to clog it up real badly real quickly so what you want to do is organize it and this is what this does click save if you get an error don't worry if i would get errors and then it still works anyway and go to preview click generate app list take a couple of seconds and if it goes down to just two images and you know that you've got more than you know two emulators installed, for example, this is just a little tip. You maximize and the rest do appear. You can scroll through them. I don't, I don't know why it does that, some sort of UI issue. And there it is. You can change the cover art like so. Ooh, that, ooh, I like that one. I'm going to go back to OG. You can download this artwork if you want to modify it or press here and select your own image file. Feel free to do that. And then click Save App List. And that's it. That's all we need to do in, in the Steam ROM manager. Now, if we open up EMU Deck again, I just want to show you a couple of things. And just go to Tools and Stuff. In here, there's the. If you go to BIOS Checker, it'll. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry, my bad. I thought this would check for Xbox BIOS, but it does not. Okay. And EMU deck compressor. This I don't believe that this compresses 
Xbox game, so we don't need to mess around with this for in my to update stuff you can manually update flat packs and app images just do both some things are installed one way or the other and you can go to save backup and this will save your backups to a cloud storage useful but in beta mode steam ROM manager where we've just been also this is important if you want to check out a guide for XEMU here's some you know shortcuts also if obviously you know save states for example I'll have a separate video covering hotkeys if you messed around with something and something's gone wrong then just click reset configuration and you're all good and you can uninstall from here and that's it now we turn to gaming mode and let me show you the two methods for launching up Xbox games there are two me two main methods for doing it and both of which are very simple that do a reboot I don't know either way okay so you will go press steam button go to library you'll notice that there's a new folder called collections and in there there's emulation and in there you got emulation station that's the recommended way then there's XEMU so go to XEMU first just for a bit of setup click the controller button you want to do that first and you want to set something to be left and right mouse click especially left mouse click press that and let's say we press you know left mouse click i've already you know done it and for the right one you need to enable right trackpad behavior select as mouse that's very important to navigate xemu and now we can navigate it so if you get this issue where it's moaning about the bios it's because it's got version 1.03 at the end and mine is not named that so i'm gonna deal with that you go to machine you go to system and select that find where it is again if you are you know installing it on an external drive you just go to run media mmc and that's the drive and then you just find it so in this case say emulation then i believe it's bios complex there we go and that's it feel free to increase the resolution the internal scale resolution feel free to mess around with the settings for the most part you can leave as is now from here you can launch the game if you click reset it will go through the actual proper okay so i would have to exit it so if i exit it and go back to it it will show the intro to xbox you can click load disk and then navigate to your game and open it from here and you'll just need to click reset if you do that the you know recommended way for launching games after you've done that is literally just to go to here go to emulation station launch this up go to xbox select your game and the game will load up here we go Obviously, feel free to click here and go to, you know, full screen, for example. If you want to go to the menu, press the, you know, start and select buttons. And you'll get this. You can pause it, load disk, go to settings, full screen, for example. And full screen. If we get that issue on some games where part of the menu or interface isn't working, feel free to reboot the game or try it in XEM. You'll find sometimes that works or when you're in-game, it works. That's it. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message on Discord or feel free to just post on Discord or post in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next EMU Deck video. Bye bye.